you live somewhere that's beautiful, there tends to be, it sounds cheesy, but beautiful things that happen around it. The internship, basically for two months, every day you're going out to the neighborhood, you're basically planting what feels like hope into the neighborhood. Um, Wild Heart is determined to show that everyone in here has value. Their value isn't based on where they grew up, how much money they have, what they look like. Um, they come from within. And that's what I think Wild Heart's main mission is, is to change people's history and destiny. It's like, how can we meet the actual needs of the community and also share the love of Jesus through those actions? Um, you know, there's prayer, there's worship, but there's also picking up trash, there's planting the flowers, there's painting homes, there's restoring the porches. It just takes you out of your comfort zone. It's a really good way to meet new people, to just grow in areas in communication just because there's a whole bunch of people here. Um, I would recommend it honestly to anyone just because you learn a lot of the good life lessons here. <laughs> because there's times, to be honest, that the work's not fun, it's not glamorous. Um, you're in the heat and it gets gnarly, but it makes you stronger. For me personally, I actually really didn't enjoy what we were doing. It wasn't something that I was, um, I, I felt called to do. But the more that I grew, I began to realize I'm often aware of what's important to me, what's valuable to me, what matters to me. But I wasn't very often aware of what was important to God, what mattered to God, what was valuable to God. And it takes your eyes off of yourself. It takes your eyes and puts it on someone else's and the value that another life has besides yours and you can feel it's like an infusion of hope every single day. You're getting to know the community, like you're not just here doing a little cute project and then you're leaving, like you're here, you're invested into the community. A symbolic laying down of, of your life for a season of time and saying, you know what God, I desire what you desire, I want what you want, and I think in that place it actually transforms our hearts. And So I think for anybody that's looking to actually have an impact, this is a direct way that you can do it because it's important to Jesus, it's gonna help you grow in leadership, it's gonna help you gain authority in places that you don't have it, and it's actually going to transform the lives of people who desperately are looking for transformation. If you put your time towards something, I think that really shows the value you put into something. It's not just an easy ride off, a leader, oh, okay, I did that. Um, but it's showing where your heart is and what, where your intentions are. For anyone considering it, I would just say, what are your intentions? And if you want to make a difference, put yourself in there. We're, we're family with the neighborhood, and it's like we all want our neighborhood to be safer. We all want our neighborhood to be beautiful. And the thing with Wild Heart is that that's going to happen because they're not going to give up they're here through the thick and thin of it all. It's actually making history, and it's actually inviting other people to get involved with the, the, the transformation of what's taking place here in Allison Hill. Don't wait, apply today. Don't wait, apply today. Don't wait, apply today.